Hello everyone, welcome back to VFX Perspective once again and welcome back to another exciting Unreal Engine tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how we can create this cinematic underwater 3D environment with a free plugin by Karim Abash Khosha. In case I mistake your name, I have written here. Please check this out. So this video is going to be so much interesting. So before starting the tutorial, just look into the preview. <sighs> further ado let's start the video so all you have to do is go to the link given in the description and download this free blueprint by Karim and simply extract this zip file anywhere and then go to the folder you can see there is a project and these are the folders so let's open the project this one and select 5.1 after opening the project you can see this is the basic uh, scene setup and this is the blueprint and these are the another folders of this project you can see let's uh, create a new level first we go to file new level empty level create okay and we don't need any light setup here okay so we will create simply a landscape first so go to landscape i will change this into 255 and create and if you want you can do a little sculpting here according to your underwater scene Okay, so I'm going to decrease the brush size and just a little bit of sculpting, not much. Then go to selection and I will drag and drop this. You can see this is looking so amazing. And some elements are there like fishes, some dusts and sun reflection is coming from the top and it's, re it's reflecting the ground, you can see this is so spectacular so let's add some material to our ground go to quicksell bridge and let's go to surface and if i go down there is a sand option this is beach and here you can select any of the surface material according to your wish so i have already downloaded some so let me go to local and this is the send that i am going to use so i have already downloaded what i have to do is simply export this you can see this is in medium quality so i will export this after exporting i will close this one and i will select the landscape then select the material and go down and hit this arrow mark and material is applied to our landscape okay so i will double click on this and I will stretch out the material little bit so that it will look better so I will apply this tiling to 0 0.1 0 0.1 okay and this is looking good for me you can see okay then we will add some more 3d assets to here so let's see what we can do so if I go to content and let's open the quicksell bridge first okay so i have downloaded lots of 3d assets so make sure you will also download all of that so if i go down in my content you can see these are the rocks that i am going to use you can find this all inside quicksell bridge okay so i am not spending much more time here so simply select all this this one this one all these are beach asset okay beach rocks we can use inside uh, underwater scene also so i will simply export this all and close this after then all my 3d assets are exported let me show you go to 3d assets and let's select the starting mesh and here are all the 3d meshes let's drag and drop and create the scene it takes some time guys okay you take your time on time and create a beautiful scene according to your imagination and whatever you want to make and this scene may be little different from my preview video okay so as you can see this is completed after lots of time okay so 
more time you give to design more beautiful it will look like okay so keep patience and give good time so let's add some plants here so go to pixel bridge again and if i go to 3d plant here is a option of aquatic and from here you can use any of these 3d plants okay under this aquatic plants so i have already downloaded i will go to local and here are the 3d plants that i have downloaded so i will simply select this all and export it okay this much and i will simply export after exporting all my plants are inside my content browser so let me show you all this okay so i'm gonna use this according to foliage so i'll go to for so i'll go to foliage and what i will do simply select all these plants and drag and drop into foliage type and all the plants are selected and let's increase the size by 0 0.1 and brush size will be something like 50 and i will start applying anywhere okay in this way just take your time and give a good look to your scene apply wherever you want to apply and now i will deselect this all and use another plant okay like this one so i am selecting from this to this and drag and drop again and again i will select all this and start applying okay also you can add plants manually if you want so let's go to select mode and i will drag and drop like this this will be uh, in this process you can design your own but it will take some time okay just take your time because for good scene for a good environment good looking environment it take much more time so let's go to foliage again now i'm going to add some other plants like this one this red color so let's deselect this all and drag and drop this plants so select this all and start applying again all these are so basic if you want to know more about the foliage and Unreal engine environment creation please go and check out my channel lots of videos are there for beginners also okay so i'm going to change the scale size like 0 0.1 to 5 and apply here so take your time i will suggest you take your time and create your scene creating the scene you can see i'm going to use some small rocks or small corals these are the rocks or coral you can say i'm going to select this all one by one from this to this one also all these are small corals and small scattering rocks i say and export this after exporting in same foliage in some in foliage process i will add this all so select from here to here and let's drag and drop we are going to use here okay so let's uh, select this all and drag and drop into our foliage and now we can start applying so select this and start apply you can change the scale also okay if these are in same scale you can change the scale just go down and here uh, let me show you brush size will be 200 so that we can apply in more area okay so this is also taking time so make sure you will take your time and create your best so this is completed and now i'm gonna use some cinematic work so i go to my cinematic and add a cine camera actor okay so right click here snap object to view and perspective go to cinematic viewport and again select your cine camera actor okay now we are inside our camera so change the film back to dslr and this to 30 mm you can change lens and camera setting according to your wish okay so let's look over some setting of bp underwater 
I mean our blueprint. Here is the SDRI intensity. You can increase or decrease its value here and you can see the change. Okay. Again, if I go down, here is the HDRI tint color. You can change its color and just look at the display or our viewport and change whatever you want. Okay. I will keep it little bit blue. Okay. Then again, if I go down, here is the sunlight options. So if I change its color to something like orange or yellow, you can see the sun reflections. The color of the sun reflection okay and again go down here is the volumetric shadow this will add a little depth to your scene okay and you can increase its light volumetric light color okay again if i go down here is the fog control you can increase or decrease the fog distance by this and here is the color of the fog and these are the god rays okay you can see the changes here if i decrease its distribution value to something like 0 0.1 and also the scale 0 0.01 okay you can see the changes here and just decrease the distance and you can see this is looking perfect okay and if i go to <coughs> let's add some sequence here so here is the sequence and i'm going to add my camera to make a camera animation and let's extend this to here and here and if i let me place my camera to somewhere like this place and we will animate it yes this is fine and okay I'm going to select the camera and go to transform and select the first frame and add a keyframe here and go to last frame again and select the camera position wherever you want to add and this will be my end camera position I will add a keyframe here and select this both and right click and linear and here you can see my camera movement is perfect okay if you want to know more about my camera setting and export setting you can please check out my uh, channel lots of videos are there in every topic of Unreal Engine so this is the tutorial for today so this is it for today's video guys if you like this video if this video is helpful for you please give a thumbs up to this video and if you are new to my channel please do subscribe to my channel for more Unreal Engine related filmmaking videos so see you again in the next time have a nice day